Hello students, welcome to e-classes of Depot School. So today we are going to learn chapter number 9 that is internet. This is standard for decoding computer science class. In this chapter we are going to see what is internet, then use of the internet, then know about web browsers. Okay, so first of all we are going to see what is internet. So internet is a term that we use in our day to day lives. It is connected to many spheres of the modern world. We talk about being online, booking movie tickets etc. So with the help of this we are connected to social media. So now social networking sites just like Facebook, Twitter, email then after that uh, Gmail, Hotmail etc. These are the uh, social web network or social websites where we are connected through internet. Let us study what the internet is. First of all, if we see internet, the internet word is derived from two words. If we see inter plus net is combination to form internet. Then here the internet is a world wide system of computer network in which users working on any one computer can access information from any other computer worldwide. Here you see in that picture. Okay, so it helps us to connect with the worldwide network to one and another computer. Then the development of electric electric uh, computers in 1950 brought about the start of the internet. Then after that in 1960 the first computer network was being developed supported by the United States Development of Defense. Okay. Then if we talk about in 1990 the modern version of the internet which is known gradually caused with the help of public attention is developed then what are the uses of the internet the use of the internet has grown tremendously over the past few years because various services that can be assessed through it first of all we are going to see the uses that is it provides information news on any subject then if we talk about it can send or receive messages that is text images videos anytime and anywhere then we can chat with our friends watch videos of anyone while talking to them then buy or sell new or old old goods then buy airline railway movie tickets then perform bank operations and check exam results etc then resources required to be connected to a internet first of all we are going to see one is computer then a modem so the name of the device is derived from the modulator demo demodulator so it allows digital signals from the computer to be converted into a form which can be transmitted on telephone wires or cables in case of incoming data it does just the opposite so it converts the signals coming through the phone lines into a digital form that the computer can understood then if we talk about second uh, third one is the telephone connection the connection act as the medium to transfer data from one computer to another then if we talk about the next one an internet connection so this one is very important with the help of internet connection or internet service were provided uh, just like isp mtnl bsnl bharti airtel etc these are the web service okay then some terms related to the internet then one other is left that is 
the web browser it also have to install in your computer otherwise that was not working then some terms related to the internet first of all we're going to see what is web page information is stored and displayed on the internet in the form of web page is with the help of written on the uh, web pages ug a special language just like html language that is html full form is hypertext markup language then if we talk about a web page also help us to um, display text graphic audio videos or links etc which are also in the form of hyperlinks then home page it refers to main or the starting web page of a website it consists of lots of graphics hyperlinks text and videos then if we talk about website a collection of linked web pages forms a website is called uh, is known as the website so whenever we talk about the collection of linked web pages and that one is from the website each website contains a home page so whenever we first uh, open the page or open the site there was a page is come which is known as home page if we talk about the uh, types of website available in the internet are personal website so here just like this this one is a personal website that is using uh, that is uh, used to sharing personal information then photo sharing website where we use it for sharing photographs then blogs a website for sharing information ideas and views then after that informational website just like wikipedia okay so it provides information of various topics then this dictionary website so it help us to give a source or uh, all levels and uh, for from all sectors just like this one okay then e-commerce website that is a business website and just like flipkart so uniform resources locator each website can be identified is its uniform resource locator which is an address unique to the website these are the url url means the uh, when we can open a web page very easily if we know its url then world wide web the world wide web which is also known as www dot or triple w or commonly known as web is a system of interlinked web pages which may contain text images audio videos or links to help the navigation between them then it is uh, if we talk about the world wide web are developed using the help of html language then web browser a web browser or a simple browser is a software application which provides an interface to find service and retrieve and display connect on the internet then using a web browser a web browser is simply a way of being able to view web pages just like google chrome okay then after that first of all whenever you go to the google chrome you have to double click on it on its icon then after this google chrome home page is open just like this then after that you have to search here whatever website you want to search just like this one then after that the result will become this type of result then uh, that the following buttons are used while visiting different pages a website first of all these two a big forward buttons allows us to move between the sites you have recently visited then after that if we talk about this one the re refresh button is also help us to reload the current page then after that the next one that is omnibox so the omnibox is both an address bar and a search bar then after that the next one is chrome so chrome is very familiar for us it allows us to view multiple web in a same window 
then searching on the internet so how we searching the internet to access the information we just click on the website and after that the particular uh, searching information is come then if we talk about the website on the internet that help us to search websites or uh, website or information anything uh, well there are some containing a particular information these websites are popularly known as search engines so there are many more search engines you may find just like google and infosic then excite then lecos then alta vista etc then if we talk about first of all search engine so search engine are the uh, another way to search information on the internet is to use search engines search engines are website that are search the internet for for you and give us an result or list of results so just uh, like images just like videos just like other content etc so first of all if we talk about the examples of search engine google infosic etc these are many more example you may see here then after that to perform a search uh, search the steps are open the search engine in your web browser so students that's it this is the whole chapter discussion then after that i am um, show you the uh, assessment sheet in the next video okay thank you see you in next class have a good day